Is there anything more comforting than a big bowl of soup on a cold, rainy day? You can make this in less than an hour, and it's absolutely delicious. This recipe is inspired by a traditional French onion soup. That is a beautiful soup of onions and broth that's been simmering for hours and hours and hours, usually with layers of cheese on top, and it's absolutely delicious. And you don't have hours to make that. You can make my quick caramelized onion soup. So I have two regular yellow onions. One of the great things about onions is that they're naturally anti-inflammatory. We're not trying to fry the onions. We are just trying to saute them, sweat them out, and they caramelize down. And I'm using a high heat oil. I prefer avocado oil. This is a good healthy fat. A little bit goes a long way. Let's put our onions into our pot. I'm gonna take half a teaspoon of salt. You can use any kind of salt that you have. So for about 10 minutes, we're gonna cook these over a medium heat. When it comes up to a nice saute like this, you just wanna lower the heat because we don't want to burn them. There's moisture in the onions. We want to leave this uncovered so the excess moisture has somewhere to go. I'm going to take our spring onions, take off the tips at the bottom. I'm just going to cut them on a bias and try to separate the green from the white. And we're actually going to cook the white part for our soup to give it more body, more flavor, and then we're going to enjoy the fresh green part um, as a topping later. So after about 10 minutes, two large onions have shrunk down to this. And what we're doing to get a beautiful, creamy texture to this without using milk or butter or anything dairy, it's cashews. We're gonna do one third cup of raw, unsalted cashews. Just cook this up. The nice thing about this recipe is that it uses one carton of our organic vegetable stock, and so that's about four cups that you can just dump whole thing right into the pot. So easy. We're gonna add our spring onions. And for about 20 minutes, we wanna let this simmer and all come together covered. And while I'm waiting for this, I can get my bread bowls ready. Take a knife and cut out the top. All you do is pull out the extra dough on the inside. And you wanna be careful not to go all the way through the bottom. All right, there's our bowl. So I preheated my oven to 375 degrees. For about five minutes, they're gonna go in the oven. And as we're waiting for our bread to bake up to bakery perfection, I'm gonna get my blender ready. We don't wanna dump the whole thing because hot liquids in a blender will actually rise up a lot faster than a cool liquid. So I'm just gonna ladle in maybe about two ladles of this. Loosely put the lid on, blend it for a couple of seconds. If you want this to be even thicker and creamier, what I'll do is take a little handful of our bread dough and just sprinkle it inside. There we go. Let's check on our bread bowls. Oh, I can already tell by smell that it's fantastic. What you can see is at the bottom of the bread bowl, hear that? That's exactly what you want. Now, to serve, you pour some of that beautiful puree right into the bowl. One last thing, you garnish the top with some fresh green onion. And then when you serve this, serve it just like this. Just take the top off and enjoy. A spoonful of soup, a little bit of onion. That is really good. It's creamy. It's a little sweet, quick soup on a rainy day. Enjoy.